Today I'm getting lactate and VO2 max testing done. This is the testing that the pros are getting done two, three, four, five times per year to help with their running training. I'm gonna take you with me for the whole thing to show you what it entails and it's gonna be painful, but it's gonna be fun. Let's see if I can get through it. What's your name and who are you? My name is Philippa Claire Bowden and I am an athlete. What are you doing today? I'm doing some lactate testing. And VO2 max testing, apparently, and I already found that out last night. So that'll be fun. And that's me being sarcastic. If you've never done a VO2 max test, imagine dying. That's how fun it is. So dramatic. We're a mess. Keeping it real. Right, what else do I need? This? Yep. These? Yep. Is there a pink bottle there full of water as well for me? There's one in your bag. Is it? Yeah. Is it full? Yeah. Do you want this? Yes. Check it up. Is it not full? Thanks. Nino, 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 Nino. White bread police. What the hell are you doing with a piece of white bread? You mean the band of brothers who have something against the white bread think they're the police, but really just want to make people feel sad for eating the right thing. Triggered. You know what? If you don't think white bread is good for running, or a good fuel, or it's a bad food... Oh, I dropped my white bread. Oh, I'm still gonna eat it. Mm -hmm. If you think those things, unsubscribe. I dare you. Because if you do, then we have a problem, okay? <laughs> and if you don't think those things, and you're just a good person, then you should be subscribed. We're really close to 50,000 now, 50k subs, and I'll let you into a little secret. We wrote out some 2023 goals at the start of this year. And 50k subs, am I right? Mm -hmm. It's the only one we haven't reached yet. Yep. So if we don't hit it by the end of the year, then I'm just gonna cry for the entirety of 2024. Do you want that on your shoulders? Do you? I don't know. So dramatic. minutes away from Liverpool John Moores University, which is where I get my testing done. That's 14 minutes that's gonna take us to drive 3.3 miles, because we're in the city. So, I thought I would talk through a little bit about today. What am I doing and why? So, two tests today. So, the lactate threshold test, I've done this before. I don't think I've really spoken about this much on my YouTube channel, but I've done a couple of Instagram reels about this, and I, I think I've spoken about it a little bit. The lactate threshold test I've done numerous times now, and it's it's good to do it, I don't know, every like three to six months-ish, or at important times in your training cycle so that you can see how your body is adapting to that type of training, because the idea is that you want to see everything shift to the right, i.e. your lactate builds up in your blood at a faster pace rather than at a slower pace because that means that you can run faster. Woo! That's what we want to do. So the lactate threshold test will entail running in three minute chunks and every three minutes I'll jump off the treadmill, like literally just put my feet to the sides. They'll take blood from me and read my lactate reading from my blood. And um, they'll also do that before I start and then they can plot it along the graph and see how my lactate increases or rather the, the lactate builds up in my blood and isn't able to be cleared by the body and, and, and the muscles and all the good stuff. I think your brain like helps clear lactate as well. And we were learning about this the other day because Daniel did his lactate testing. So head over to his channel to hear about that. And yeah, from that test, I'll be able to see my lactate threshold and my kind of turn points. So LT1 will be the first sort of visible increase in lactate. And that's often used to indicate your steady ranges or, or zone two. And then the second sort of point at which it increases or like there's a rapid increase is um, what you call your, your threshold or your turn point. The, the point of no return basically where you're just building up lactate because you can't clear it. You're running at that pace where 
you're just going to generate so much lactate that your body's like, yeah, this isn't this isn't clearing. And the reason you want to move it to the right is because the buildup of lactate is going to slow you down because your muscles are going to start being like, oh my god, there's so much lactate, we can't breathe in here, we can't do anything. Very scientific explanation of it. Uh, I am a scientist. Obviously, you want to move it along to the right because that means that you can you can run faster with less lactate. So like, you're going to be able to run a faster half marathon, a faster marathon. It's very important in that sort of type of training. Test number two is the VO2 max test, which I think I've only done one of these before. And I was really surprised that I'm doing one today because <laughs> it wasn't something I had foreseen, but that's fine. So I will do the lactate threshold test first, I think. I think last time I did these the other way around. Anyway, I'm doing that second and we will do that via the incline. So treadmill will be set at a pace that's pretty fast-ish. I don't actually know what they're gonna set it at, but every couple of minutes, I wanna say, or every minute, I actually don't know, but they're gonna increase the elevation of the treadmill. And it's basically, you go till you can't go anymore. Sometimes they hook you up on a, like a harness so that you can literally go till you collapse. Most of the time, you just have to kind of hold your hand up and be like, yeah, I'm done. I'm, I'm useless at this point. I can't go any further. And the reason that that's such a, as a thing that messes with your head, because you have to decide when you're done and so perception comes into it and every single time that I've done one of these tests because I did a few at uni as well to help people out with their like PhDs you stop and you're like yeah, I stopped too early I could have gone for another I don't know however long so you have to try and like switch that off because I think everyone thinks that <laughs> As you know, I'm in marathon training, which means no alcohol for Philly. I completely cut it out. I actually haven't had a drink since July, August, which is pretty crazy. I have had a drink though from these guys, Days. Days make non-alcoholic lagers and pale ales and they're delicious. Mm. Now I know Christmas is fast approaching, which means in the UK anyway, alcohol is part of how we celebrate, but it really doesn't have to be. If you wanna focus on your training or you wanna sleep better, or you just wanna be healthier in general, you might wanna consider cutting alcohol out, but that doesn't mean you have to miss out on the fun. Days like to call themselves the beer for doing. So it's not about cutting out on the fun, it's just about not drinking the alcohol if you don't want to. And dry January is coming up, people. I know a load of you are gonna be doing this, so why not stock up now and maybe ease into dry January by having a few non-alcoholic beers over the festive season too. And thanks to the guys at Days, they're giving you 20% off if you use my code, which is on screen now. It's Philly20, which is Philly with one L, for all of you people who like to spell my name with two, one L, and you can head over to Days and get your non-alcoholic beer fix. It's vegan, it's brewed in Scotland, it's all natural, and it's the beer for doing, guys. Huge thanks to Days for sponsoring today's video.
hard audio yeah. um, trackball. So, so a bit light. How was that? Good fun! Yeah? Yeah! Wasn't too bad. No. No. It's always worse in the moment. And I think as well, you um, you know it's going to be hard, so I think your mind like plays tricks on you because you kind of like hype it up to be harder and harder for longer than, you, than it actually is. And you've been ill as well. I so have been I, ill, I yeah. I feel like that put a little that was bit... A, that was in the back of my mind, yeah, yeah. But I think by the sounds of it anyway, I'll, I'll hear more when we send the data back to Jamie and Jamie can chat to me and Helen about it and kind of go into depth. But I was getting lots of good noises from Helen. Yeah, you were. you as well. Mm-hmm. She was, yeah, I mean, obviously they're going to encourage you while you're doing the test anyway, but lots of this data looks good, which is good. Have some food. Mm. I've been outside for five seconds and my hands are about to fall off from being so cold. <laughs> I hate the north. So dramatic. I actually don't hate it, but it's cold. Ah, god damn it. Let her in. Mm. What are we doing? We're going to miss and stupid some bigots. Happy? Yes. Mm -hmm. 